I praise and I thank God for this opportunity pastor has given me by surprise. I'd gone to India last week because my father was suffering from a very serious liver condition. It was a very critical stage where anything would have happened at any time. He was completely immobile. He couldn't do anything on his own. What normally takes one second for us would take him one whole minute, five minutes to do. It really broke my heart. A little background about my father. He's coming from a Catholic background. He's not very religious, but there's one thing that he would do is he would take care. He would give to the needy. He would not, he would give without expecting anything back in return. I loved my father. He was always my hero. Whenever anyone would say, who is, who is your hero in your life? It would be my father because I understood the kindness in his heart. But the time has come when I had to see my father in this stage. I didn't know what to tell him because he didn't believe in healing. He doesn't believe in heaven or hell. He was telling me whether I die, if I go to heaven or hell, it doesn't matter to me at all. Now, what do I tell a man like him? When I went there to the hospital, he was admitted in the hospital. There were so many people around. I could not tell him and tell him what should I tell him. He doesn't know anything. He knows the Bible, but nothing of this is like a promise for him. He didn't believe that Jesus would come down and heal him. But then when the time came in the room, when I was alone with my sister, I bravely asked my father, can I read the Bible? So he surprised, surprisingly, he said, yes. Now what to read from the Bible? I didn't know. I was flipping through the pages and I came to John chapter five, the, the healing at the pool of Bethesda. I read out that to him, but my father was in a very drowsy, sedated state. It was difficult for me to understand whether he's listening or not. What, when I read, I would ask him a few questions. He answered it. So I knew even though his eyes were closed, his head was drooping down, he was listening. Then I asked my father in Malayalam, uh, in English I asked, Papa, do you know what is the meaning of savior? Papa answered, Rekshagen. He was alert. Then I asked Papa, Papa, do you know who this, this world is under whose control? He said, Yehovah. I said, no, it is under the control of the evil one. So I knew my father was listening. Then, he, then I asked, can I pray? And he surprisingly said, pray. I didn't know now what to pray. He will not believe in the way we pray, how we pray here in this church. He doesn't believe in all that. But I prayed. I prayed that we believe. Together I prayed we believe in Jesus. We believe in he's the son of God. That he is a mighty God. That he is our savior. He can only save us. He can bring healing. He, we prayed together. And then I asked my father, can you pray after me? He said, yes. Brothers and sisters, I didn't know what to say. It was an unexpected time. I was not prepared, just like our pastor said. I was not prepared. And then I said, dear God, my father, like a little child, he said, dear God, I believe you are Jesus. He repeated, I believe you are Jesus. He, and I said, I believe you are the son of God. He repeated, I believe you are the son of God. I said, I confess my sins and my wrongdoings to you, Lord. He repeated every word without a mistake. He, and I said, I accept you as my savior. And my father said, I accept you as my savior. A man who didn't believe in healing, he didn't believe in heaven or hell. He only believed in doing good deeds to others. He repeated the prayer of salvation after me. By the grace of God, it is only the hands of God at that moment. The time was not right, but it was his time. And my father slept that day, but the next few days was really not good. My father still, he, he just got discharged yesterday by the grace of God. 
by all your prayers, the power of prayer, the power of the word of God, the power of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, that will touch your heart in, in, in seconds. It is the power of God is you, you cannot imagine. It can turn a heart of stone and that's what God did to my father. I praise and I give all glory to my Lord, to my Jesus, to the Holy Spirit who helped me to stand and to say that. I thank you all for upholding my father in prayer. I remember it happened on a Friday. It happened on a Friday, the first day I reached there. It happened in the afternoon time in India. It happened at that time. And immediately at 3.30 or 4 o'clock Dubai time, I called Paul. He wouldn't pick up the phone. I immediately called Vinod brother and I said, this has happened. And I was overjoyed, overjoyed, overjoyed. Thank you so much, brothers and sisters, for all your prayers. <laughs>